So now we have Republicans in the House and the Senate who stand ready to object to Joe Biden being elected president by the American people. How should we deal with these politicians? Let's talk about that. Because respecting the democratic process, like justice, matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So we now have Republicans in the House and Republicans in the Senate who plan to object to the Electoral College vote count on January 6th. Here's how it's being reported out today. This from CNN. At least 140 House Republicans to vote against counting electoral votes, two GOP lawmakers say. And this from The Hill. 11 Senate Republicans say they will oppose Electoral College results on Wednesday. But take heart. Here is what NBC News said today. This move has essentially no chance of overturning the results of the November presidential election won by Joe Biden. Okay, so first of all, let's call this what it is. This is Republican politicians objecting to democracy. This is Republican politicians opposing the will of the American people. The popular vote was not close. The Electoral College vote was not close. And darn near every court in the land trial courts, appellate courts, supreme courts, both state and federal, have ruled that there's absolutely no voter fraud undermining Joe Biden's win. And yet, these Republican politicians are going to stand against democracy. Now, we know why they're doing it, right? They're all trying to curry favor with Donald Trump's base, even though they know there is no chance that this will change the results of the election. But let's ask ourselves this question. How do we feel about a politician who is willing to stand against democracy, stand against the American voter, simply to satisfy their unquenchable thirst for power. And what else will that kind of a politician be willing to do to hold on to power? You know, you got to love how this started in the Senate with this Josh Hawley character, right? And as soon as Josh Hawley started to get a whole bunch of face time on mainstream media, Right? We saw his picture. We heard the sound bites. He was getting a lot of attention for saying he was going to stand against democracy. All of a sudden, little Ted Cruz had to pipe up. Hey, me too. Me too. I'm going to stand against democracy. Look at me, Trump voters. Look at me. Not just Josh Hawley. I'm here trying to undermine the will of the American voters as well. Look at me says Ted Cruz. So the question is, what do we do with these politicians who are trying to put a stop to democracy? You know, and I suggest that's sort of related to the larger question of what do we do with Trump and company and all of the crimes that they've committed over the past four years? Well, I would suggest that maybe we should try something different this time. Maybe this time we should try accountability. Because we failed to hold a criminal president accountable back in 1974. We failed to hold a 
criminal and abusive banking industry accountable previously. You know, we fail to hold corporate criminals and white collar criminals accountable, you know, daily, it seems. Why don't we try something different this time? Why don't we try accountability? Because goodness knows we've got criminal politicians out the wazoo. Okay, wazoo is a, it's a legal term. Translated from the original Latin, it means uh, in abundance. Don't worry, we'll edit all that out later. No, we won't. Um, but why don't we try accountability this time? Right? What's the worst that could happen? We achieve a little bit of justice. And call me crazy, but you know, justice should matter. And folks, it's really not rocket science. Accountability for politicians who commit crime. Accountability for politicians who try to end democracy. Accountability for politicians who act against the will of the American voters. Let's try accountability this time. Because only then will we move toward justice. And justice matters. And as always, folks, thank you for tuning in to these daily videos. If you would like to more formally support our all-volunteer efforts here, uh, you can go over to patreon.com, sign up to become a patron, and if you do, I will send you some Team Justice stickers and a personal handwritten note of thanks. You can also find me over on Facebook, Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner, and of course on Twitter all day and night trying to answer your legal questions as best I can based on my 30 years as a federal prosecutor. On Twitter, you can find me at Glenn Kirshner too. So uh, as always, folks, please stay tuned. Please stay safe. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.